this video is going to show you how to make a felt felting mat for needle felting um, which measures 10.5 by 7.5 inches so for this you will need some sheets of felt so I've used grey woolen felt and white woolen felt and I've also got some sheep wool for the stuffing and you also need an A4 piece of paper so the first thing to do is you need to cut out your um, felt into an A4 piece of paper size. So for this I've just put my A4 paper on top of my felt and then I've weighted it down. And then I'm just cutting it out on a cutting mat. But if you um, don't have a cutting mat um, you could just pin the piece of paper onto the felt and then cut round it. So... I'm doing this for both the white and the grey. So overall this means I have one sheet of white felt and one sheet of grey felt and they're both the size of an A4 piece of paper. So I'm now just ironing both pieces of felt just to get any creases out of them before I continue. So now you want to pin your pieces of felt together and sew them together leaving a 5mm seam allowance and you also want to leave a gap of 4cm where you do not sew around the edge so as you can see here I've done that and I've just backstitched um, where that gap is just to secure the stitching so the next step is to turn your um, pieces of felt you've sewn together inside out so that the seam is hidden on the inside so that is what I'm just doing at the moment and it can be quite fiddly and now as you can see here I've turned it inside out but I need to push all those corners out um, just to make sure I've got a good shape so you can either do this as I'm doing it now um, or you could get something like a pair of scissors or something long and just poke the corners out if you're struggling. So in the end it will look like something like this and as you can see I've got that gap and that is going to allow me to um, stuff the felting mat later. So what I'm doing now I'm just doing a top stitch around the edge of the mat leaving a 5mm seam allowance again and as you can see I have not sewn where that gap is so now I'm just going to use my sheet wool um, to stuff my felting mat in using that gap. And you can just judge it um, by how firm you want the felting mat as to how much to put in. And what I've done now is I've just pinned that open edge. Before I did that I folded in the raw edge of the felt to make sure that was hidden on the inside so just make sure to do that and then pin that into place and then I just uh, sewed up that open um, section and then you will be left with your finished felting mat and if you want to find out more about the different types of felting mats um, that you can get for needle felting I will leave the link for my video about that in the description box below so thank you very much for watching if um, there's any questions you have about making this voting map please just leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe